Dude, they, they got someone in the back. Yeah, I think so. Oh, what the hell? Guys, we're literally near the border and we just got pulled over because the road. Uh oh. Oh, sh lights. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Hey, go, my back, God. go back, go back, go back, go <laughs> back. Go, 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 go. Oh, they're coming. Dude, he's giving us 30 bucks. Oh, my God. We decided to drive all the way to the borders of US and Mexico through Arizona late at night, something you should never do as it's very, very dangerous. And we found out why at the end of this video. But before we jump to the border and investigate what's going on there, a word from today's video sponsor. Cold turkey may be great on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habits. We're not talking about some weird mind voodoo from your crazy neighbor. We're talking about our sponsor, Fume, and they look at the problem in a different way. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that does just that. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. And instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural delicious flavors. You get it, instead of the bad, Fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and it makes replacing a bad habit easy. It fills the void in a natural guilt-free way. Fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and it's designed with movable parts, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing while breaking your habit. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and fun. Fume has served over 150,000 customers and has so many success stories. I like hearing success stories. Success is great and there's no reason that that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits Habits by picking up your very own journey pack today. Head over to tryfume.com slash mosarji or scan the QR code that you guys are seeing on my screen to get a whole 10% off on your journey pack. Like do it today. The Fume Solano launched last November 6th. You can upgrade your journey pack to the Solano to enjoy the premium walnut barrel and onyx black coated mouthpiece that has a smoother finish and still get 10% off. That's tryfum.com using code mosarji to get yourself 10% off today. So what are you guys waiting for? The link is down below. Go check out Fume. Thank you once again for sponsoring this video. Why is this so sketchy right now? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I wonder if that's like a cartel truck. Nope, it's a UPS. Oh, it's a truck. <laughs> At this point, we gotta be very, very careful because a lot of times people cross the borders, and I'm not saying like, you know, the, the normal people that cross the borders are bad, but like, sometimes we'll get the cartel, they'll cross the borders, and they go into people's houses and try to like, you know, shoot people up, steal their homes, and steal their cattle. So we gotta be very careful out on this road. I'd also like to point out that we are at South Border Monument Road almost. Oh, wow. Dude, what if like someone who crossed the border and there's like a bunch of people just hiding in the bushes? I mean, there literally could be. Like, yeah. waiting for the moment, there the car. literally could be people in these bushes. You never know. Yeah, it's, it's actually dangerous. It's very possible, boys. Well, it looks like it's kind of getting a little better. So, we're at the South Border Monument Road in Mexico. It's all the way down there where those lights are. Mm -hmm. That's where we're going to go right now. So, here's the thing. There's real danger here. As Aldo said earlier, like we usually encounter like animals and like homeless guys, but out here there's cartels, there's shady people, and we just gotta be really careful, man. And the fact that we're on these like back roads that are just unreal, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. There's a real danger here. Yo, I don't think we're allowed through here, boys. Wait, do you guys hear that? The barking? Coyotes? Yeah. It says no, no trespassing. Wait, why does it? No, it says day use only. Like we can't cross why unless not? it's a daytime. But why? I don't see why we can't. Should we just go? Yeah. Let's do it. Where's the I mean, sign say? Now. It says day use. What is that one? Trespassing. Well, oh, like it's cool. private land. Oh, okay. So, so maybe we could find another way around. Yeah. The, so the owner that Damn. that owns the land they probably only lets it during the daytime. Day. We're gonna go. Whatever. Let's just get shot. I'm just gonna drive really fast. As fast as I can. Let's do this. Yeah. Turn around. Um, we have to turn around because the, the gate's locked. Yeah. Damn. There's a safer way we can go. Yeah, let's go back before this guy, anyone comes out here with a freaking shotgun. Yeah. Like, or like, maybe the cartels own this land, dude. We gotta it's be true. careful. It's true, it is a possibility. Yeah. So no joke, guys, this is, um, private property for the some reason, but the GPS told us we can go through here, which I don't get it. Uh, it could, this could be lands owned by the cartel. That's why we need to get the hell out of here real quick. We just heard a really loud bang underneath the car. Like really, really loud. 
You guys see anything? The tires are good? Yeah. Holy crap, whatever that was was just intense. Oh yeah, the the skid plate is broken. Yes. Yeah. All right, at least at least at least that's the only thing that's broken. What broke? The skid plate. Yeah, the skid broken. Whatever that was, it was so freaking loud. Yeah, it's just a piece of plastic. Yeah. That's all. Dear rental company, I'm sorry. Like if we break down here, we are toast. Bro, we're in the middle. Of yeah, let's not break down. The border road is just over there. yeah, a couple of hundred meters down that way. Dear, yo. <clears throat> It's an abandoned like trailer or something. Bro, the cartel use these trailers though. Yeah. We gotta be careful. Shit. The most logical thing that this could be used for by the cartel yeah. is either a pit stop for their drugs and money because yeah. they do high drugs and money in places like this or it could be something for the migrants. You know yeah, what I mean? Looks, like it just looks really migrants. shady. That's yeah. all I know. Yeah, let's get the hell out okay. of here. We've never been anywhere near one of these so that's kind of creepy. You know what that's for? What? So it's to keep animals, right? Or no, no, not even that. A lot of them are like I saw a documentary. A lot of them are doing it to keep um, the migrants out of their properties and yeah. stuff. Oh, so if people are running, they don't come into the property. Yeah, oh my yeah. God, look. If you touch, you're gonna get electrocuted right now. Yeah. I don't want to get too close to that fence because someone could literally just shoot at us for no reason. We look very suspicious right now. And if I was a farmer, I would think a couple guys, a bunch of guys, are trying to break into my property. They're gonna start shooting, so we gotta. So directly ahead of us, in like a few hundred feet, is Border Road, and that's where the big border wall should be, and that's where we're gonna be camping out the night. Uh, we cannot get through this with this van. Fuck. We gotta go around. We're literally somehow. so close. So close to it. Fuck. There's no way we're getting out of the car. That's just stupid. No, we gotta go back somehow. Uh oh. I hope that's not a cartel member. He just stopped when he saw us. I think. But it's very shady that all of a sudden there's two cars. Dude, are they blocking the roads? No, 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 I think we're good. That might be a cop, to be honest. Pickup truck. It's a cop, that's a police officer. Is it? Yeah. It's a border patrol. Oh, shit, okay. Let's ask him what's the best way to get to the border. <laughs> sure. Hello. A Question for you, what's the best way to get near the border? Near the border? Yeah, we're yeah. trying to make a documentary. Documentary? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you can get to okay because all this is going to be private ranch land okay um the only other place we'll be able to do it is actually further east down in the actual town of Nako. Okay, okay that's where we're gonna that's go where i punched yeah. in next so yeah all right cool thank you thank you all right have a good night there you have it that was the border police sitting out here in the middle of nowhere making sure you know people don't cross over and whatnot at least they're out here that makes mm -hmm. me feel a bit safer to be honest right but we now have to go to a place called Nako. We thought it was Nacho, but it's called Nako. And that's where we can get to the actual border. From here, it's all private land apparently, so we can't get through. So all those lights that you guys are seeing off in the distance is Mexico. Those lights there are the border wall. That's where we're trying to get to. Those lights out there, that's literally in Mexico. It looks like everything's moving. Like it's all like flickering. Right. And doing weird stuff. There wow. could actually be people waiting there. Yeah. Let's go find out. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I just heard some gunshots. Those gunshots? Think so. Gunshots. We just heard gunshots. Yeah, Alright sergeants, as you guys can see we are at the Mexican border. There's Mexico right there. And what we're trying to do. What is that? Is somebody firing guns in the distance? So now that we're here in the town of Nacho, or Naco is what they call it. I'm just gonna call it Nacho for this whole video. Um, we're gonna find a place to camp out the night safely. There's a cartel out here. There's bad people out here. There's police everywhere. We heard some gunshots when we got here and the border is literally right behind me. Like this is like another Area 51 video, but this is more scary in my opinion. Just check out the surroundings, check out how everything looks here. Mexico is literally right there. Like that car is driving in Mexico. Oh, this guy doesn't know it's on it. Yeah. Like those people are in Mexico. This is wild. Whoa. I wonder if these guys are like onto us. I mean, we're not doing anything wrong, but. Oh, there's the Federales. The Federales. Dude, they got someone in the back. Yeah, I think so. Oh, what the hell? They got they got mi the migrants. That is crazy. 
Oh my god, dude, that's crazy. That's a whole family that they just picked up. Just yeah, they were in the truck. Yeah, but they they were in the truck and they just let him out of the truck. I guess they're taking taking him back to Mexico. What? This is wild. Never in my life did I think I would see this. So they sent him back to Mexico. Dude, I got him taken out of that thing and put, like that's crazy. I feel bad for the family though, but man. They got yeah, they gotta do their job, I guess. Whoa, look at this guy. Bro, he's giving us dirty looks. You see someone? Yeah, he was like giving us dirty looks. You see where that that light thing? Yeah, he's behind that. Is he watching us? Probably. Oh there he is, there he is, here he is. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, he's staring at us. Dude, he's giving us dirty looks. Oh my god. He's like, what are these guys? Yo, he sees us. This is so sketchy. <laughs> this is so freaking sketchy. Hi. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, oh, oh. The car of guys just showed up. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go now. Go now, 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 now. A car full of guys just showed up. We gotta go. There's a, a, car, a, a car full of guys who showed up. They were just staring at us. Oh, look, they're looking, they're looking, they're looking. I'm not taking any chances. Whether they're friendly or not, I'm not taking any chances. It just goes down for miles and miles and miles. Nothing but wall. I wanted to come here in the daytime, guys, but our time limit out here um, isn't going to allow us because we're time restricted. But this is it. The NACO Border Fence Project 2017. Wow. I think there's a car over there in the bushes hiding. I can hear idling. So right now we're just walking the road here at the border wall. We're going to the more lit areas. Like it's very thoughtful of them to put lights here, you know. <laughs> but if you were to try to jump the border, you're gonna get cut up on all this barbed wire, which is scary, very scary. Imagine trying to jump over. Oh man, there's no way. You know what I noticed? You know what? There's a lack of is cameras. Yeah. There's like no cam. There's no cameras anywhere. What? Oh yeah, we didn't touch the wall yet. Be careful, what if it's electrocuted? Is it not electrocuted? Be careful. It's just metal, no? Dude, watch out, man. I don't want you to get electric. I don't think it's electrocuted. No. Nope, it's just metal. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. We're all gonna touch the wall now. Let's do it. Let's touch the wall. Initiation. We're gonna touch the wall? We came here, we touched the Mexico border wall. Hello, Mexico. They say if you touch the wall and then knock on it three times, a guy in a sombrero shows up. <laughs> what? Oh my God. <laughs> There's a really weird sign over here and I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I'm gonna go see it. There's a weird sound too. Do you guys hear that? Very strange sound and there's a weird stench here. I'm not sure what it is. It smells really bad, to be honest. Huh? What's up? Oh, that sign says, do not drag cattle over guard. Okay, noted. Someone's even wrote their name on the, on the wall. Maybe I should write my name on the wall. That would probably be illegal. It's a federal, <laughs> federal wall. These guys are saying there's someone yelling. We just heard like a group of people yelling from down there. Really? Yeah, I say we hop in the car and drive down that way. I think there's a lot of action going down yeah, that way. Maybe, maybe someone's stuck in the like defense or something. Maybe. Bro, it didn't sound like someone. It sounded like a lot of people. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Yeah, we, we can literally go to the other side from here, see? Other side of where? Mexico or the road? Uh, the road. We're not, okay. So we're gonna drive down this road near the fence. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if police will come after us it looks like a public road that's why Google's telling us at least it says West International Road so I don't see why it would be an issue this is what we're doing guys overnight at the Mexico US border we're just trying to document anything that happens like if it's crazy whatever if nothing happens we're still gonna document it because that's what we came all the way out here for all right here we go let's see are we allowed to drive here are we West gonna, International Road are we gonna go to jail or not I don't see from where though, like it's, it's it's almost impossible to get across. It looks like it floods too, because there was like a, the road, uh oh, oh lights. shit, lights. 
Oh, oh shit, oh shit, oh, shit. oh, oh my god. Hey, go, my back, god. go back, go back, go back, go back. Go, 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 go. Oh, they're coming they're for coming. us. Go back, go back. Go back, go back. Go back don't, where? Don't run, just wait until they get here. Wait, what? Oh, oh no, that's hell? that's a light pole. Oh, oh my god. Fuck? That's what we that? saw earlier, I told you about it, remember? Somebody flashed a light at us. Yeah. yeah. Probably, yeah. I think there's a car coming. Yeah, I think we're testing the limits here, boys. Well, let's just keep going. I don't see any signs right I don't think that's a good idea. That big pole with the red light, it's telling us to get the out of here. Yeah, I don't see any signs. Come closer. You don't see any signs, I know, but the light is the sign. There it is right there. Well, we might as well go over this close. No. I heard a lot of yelling down there. I think what's actually happening is they're looking for people. Because mm -hmm. me and Angelo earlier, we heard a lot of people yelling. So I think they're actively looking for people who literally just crossed. Yeah. I don't think they're looking for us. I don't see any humans there. I'm going to move up a little bit, just a little bit, and see what will happen. I'm telling you, go up. We just heard so many people yelling and running. But I didn't catch it on camera. Any second. Dude, we look so shady right now. Just turning around, don't mind us. We're just doing a U-turn, that's yep. all. Just, uh, dude, what if they start, sh start shooting at us? Yeah, that's no, they kind can't of shoot like, us. I mean, they're not going to you, but like, still. Dude, I'm telling you, they're not looking for us. They're looking for people oh, who just crossed. What's that up there? Because we just heard people. I don't know, it was like a weird box. Oh, that's part of the, the beam. Yeah. So they didn't turn the light on this time. They're they're looking they're for people. It still. It's going in a circle, look. They're literally looking for people who just crossed. Because we heard a lot of people yelling and running. Let's see, let's see what happens here. There's yeah, a gate right I there. I think we've gone far enough. And I guarantee point. you there's guys with rifles oh, over there waiting for us. 100%. You saw that dude in the in the balaclava. So it's I'm right zoomed there. right in on it. Yeah, anything, anybody there? No. Uh-oh. That's crazy because we literally heard people yelling here. I hear a car coming. Where is it? Uh, I think that might have just been on the moon. So oh, 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 oh. What? There's activity on the other side. We're in front of me. Okay, turn you see around. them? No. All right, I had to get out just to show you guys exactly where we are. There are houses right there, guys. Right through there. Right through there are cars in Mexico and houses. How insane is this? That is crazy. Wow. Oh, someone's coming. Someone's coming. Yeah. I see cars. Er. So there's these doors that were cut open by the cartel and the government. Here in the, I'm not going to say where, what country, but you guys know who did it. Um, Bo Jiden. So anyways, they cut the doors open to let people through for some reason and these are the doors they were welded open so nobody can close them but then eventually they managed to get them closed yeah not maybe not these ones in particular but there was uh doors somewhere i just don't know exactly where this is <laughs> this is unreal <laughs> i never knew there was a door though on the wall this is the wildest shit ever look how big these locks are <laughs> even stamps owp 2017 why's your rock there Wait, uh, do they open? These plates were yeah, welded, though. Yeah, these plates are new. Yeah. They are the they're probably doing something. Yeah. You think someone got these open before? 100%. <laughs> no way someone opened this. This is crazy. Oh, look, they're into the floor, too. Yeah. Why would there so many doors? So this isn't the only set of doors. There's more doors down over here. Let's go see if we can find it. It'd be oh, guys, look. Look at all the stuff here. Rubbish. Tires, where they would, like, try to use to get over somehow. There's a rubbish, there's a, t a TV, I think. A TV? Yeah, it looks like a broken TV. There's a bucket. There's... Use that to put over the wire. Oh, there's a lot of stuff over here, too. That's so cool. Oh my god, there's like water bottles and buckets here as well. More tires. People tried to cross over here. Yeah, they probably did at one point. So I'm pretty sure the tires for, were used to be like thrown over, and when they jump, they land on something soft or bouncy like a tire. Oh my on the other side god. Um, nothing. More tires. I see hay. Hello, Mexico. Is anyone home? Can I come in? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, yeah, I hear that too. There's like a lot of noises coming from this side. Yeah. What are the chances you guys can throw your drone up and see what's on, like, further out? We won't be able to see. It'll never make it over. No, no, if you just go straight up. They have dro drone jammers, you can't. Oh, serious? You can't even get it up, like, two meters. Oh, uh, I didn't know, okay. So we're literally just driving and stopping in different spots, but look at this, there's a weird box over here. I wonder if there's anything in it. I thought I heard somebody yelling. This could be, like, a tunnel access, honestly. <laughs> That wasn't on. That is someone watching us yeah. right now. That light there just turned on in the sky. I don't know what the hell it is, but it just turned on. So we're at another point here. There's a gate, a really big gate. 
this is probably like the connection point and they have barriers here so you couldn't get across if you wanted to but i mean i guess if they had like something big enough like a tank they could just ram right through anything behind it what freaks me out is that there's a possibility that we're gonna find drugs because if you guys remember years ago my wife and i were in mexico vacationing at a resort and we were walking down the beach into like areas that don't have resorts and we found a brick of cocaine washed up onto the beach and it was called diamante it was actually um two weeks later everybody on the in the videos were like oh that's probably fake you planted it no i don't plant drugs okay um it wasn't fake it was real 100 percent. and then uh, two weeks later after that incident more of the shipments washed up onto florida shores the same one called diamante it was cool i found it there i filmed it i just left it um i don't know what happened to it after that but what i was told is that it was worth like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars if it had made made it to the usa um i'm willing to bet if we really search out here we would find something but although that is not the intention of this video we do not do drugs we don't want drugs and we don't want to look for drugs okay cartel we don't want none of it i really expected to find like some dangerous stuff out here at the border but we found a cow hello friendly reminder cows do chase after you oh hello mr cow wait don't go nowhere don't go, wait. I think he got freaked out when I said carne asada. We're hungry, we want some carne asada, man. We came out here to find some action, but we found some beef instead. Hey, carne asada. <laughs> Cows aside, guys, check this out. Someone's destroyed the barbed wire here. Dude, I bet they were getting ready to jump over, or they did jump over oh my from God, here. Is that someone's gloves? Yeah, that's someone's gloves. Oh. Yeah, it is. Holy crap, look, someone literally that's tried like a, crossing like here. A scarf oh, is that their hat? That's yeah. like a hat, yeah. too. What? Oh my god, someone literally tried crossing over here they and did. they destroyed the barbed wire. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh god, a glove. glove. Oh it's my god, glove. what the hell? So they do cross from here. This is the point where they cross from, right? Yeah, yeah it looks like it. Look, somebody even wrote their 2023, 26 September 2023. Would you go tell the border crossing that this is done, this is off? You want to go snitch? No. I ain't doing that. They no. can go figure it out for themselves. <laughs> Snitches oh get stitches. Why would I tell them? The I'm not going to tell my Mexican homies. I ain't doing that. I ain't a snitch. Carlos a snitch. Everyone's gonna see when they see this video. Wow. <laughs> Why? Oh. But they're not gonna know. That's I ain't snitching. Crazy. Didn't go oh, look at this. It's a cell phone battery. Actually? Yeah. yeah cell oh, phone battery. Nokia. Oh, oh my God. Let me wow. see that. Burner phone battery. Chill, yeah. dude. Look at this. This is my find. All right, else. check it out. There you go. <laughs> Guys, check this out. This is insane. This is what I mean. Like you come out here, you'll battery. find. What the hell? Oh, I found somebody's uh, no key. Religious rosary thing. Oh, oh my what? god, that's so freaking cool. Yeah, someone definitely hopped over, and then they ditched their cell phone, I guess. Oh, oh look, it's like I think a religious rosary thing. Yeah, that's so. That's cool. like for good luck. Yeah, I guess so. They'd wear that on their. Excuse me, cat. Where it's you think you're going? Actually, <laughs> are you going back to? Your All right, I'm gonna put it right back here then. Yeah, what else can we find out here? Just found another glove. Look at this, another glove over here. What are these? Oh, more like electronics. There's so much electronics out here from phones and stuff. Yeah. Probably all burner phones, oh, right? Oh, for sure. They get over and then they destroy them. There's another little mitt over here. Do not try what we're doing. This is very dangerous. These, the people that are here are good people, but there's always bad people lurking in the shadows. Like the cartel could be here and they could think we're cops or something and they can shoot at us through the border. So we're not, we're not equipped, we're not armed. We're just a bunch of dumb YouTubers at the freaking Mexico border wall doing a, a an overnight video here. It's crazy. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of activity here. There's a lot of bottles and rubbish. So they're definitely jumping right over this wall here. Man, that's a high jump. That's at least 30 feet, guys. But if there's no barbed wire, I think they'll make it, obviously. But scaling that down, man, that's a slippery slope. Hey, cow, get over here. We're hungry. Get over here. Rip some plants. There's the cameras right there. Oh yeah. There's a pole over there with the cameras. You see that? See oh, you think that? You think there's a camera on there? Well, it, I can literally see the camera on there. Really? Yeah, solar powered cameras. I don't know if this is for the farm owner or for the actual border over here. Welcome to Mo Sarge's U.S. border tour. If you guys want to book me for a tour, I charge two thousand dollars a night. I'll take you to all the hot spots and we'll have tacos at the end. Oh, there's another part that's really destroyed over here. We didn't even notice this. We were filming that one, but this part here is all messed up. Let's, what can we find here that's cool? Let's see. It's like a treasure hunt, guys. Is there a treasure hunt here? Oh, that is crazy. You can like literally drive cars through there. Some, some beer cans. 
pretty much it. Surprised there's no like blood anywhere, like from jumping over these things. Sometimes you might find stuff like that. Oh, there is some bandages. Oh, somebody cut themselves then. That's crazy. That. It's crazy that I found bloody band-aids over there near that other Did one. You? Yeah, there's oh. bloody gauge band-aids on the ground. Oh, there's cows f***ing. What? <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? They are? No, they're just, they're feeding their children. Yeah. Oh, Hello. They're so cute. How you doing? All right. Excuse me there. You have a good day. And on this segment of the tour with Mo Sarji at the U.S. border, there are rope. Look at this. Every time we drive down, we find more and more items. Look at this like ray or whatever that That's is. a camo. Someone's, shirt. Yeah. Someone's, Someone's outfit. Shirt. Yeah. This rope? Uh, maybe from the cartels, actually. I don't know that they use this. I wonder if whoever did that made it across. Holy crap. Oh, you have to be pretty thin to get in between that and then get down here. Yeah. So that way you wouldn't get what the hell? 100 percent That's so cool. That's Guys, you know what's very strange is that we've been here for hours doing this. <laughs> no one showed up. Security. Yeah, they're all busy on the other side where all the migrants are. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's possibly, possibly the thing. This is the, the, like, if you just had a ladder here, it'd be so easy to get your time. Guys, we go, just go, drove. Go, go, go. We Dude, just drove to the wrong entry. Dude, you know, this is literally Mexico. It's really stupid. It's like <laughs> very shady. <laughs> God, Sorry, wrong way. <laughs> oh, just a guy with a gun standing outside. Like, actually. Well, I, yeah. All right, let's get out of here. We look so shady right now. Holy crap. <laughs> Can't touch it, can't film it. Can't touch it, can't All film right. it. Look at that box, huh? I think they were going too fast, but I don't know. What was the speed limit here? So. Being pulled over right now, you guys. Are you sure the guy gave me my ID? Hello. How are you guys doing? Good, how are hey, you? good, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm Trooper Fishback with the Highway Patrol. Hey. Are you guys visiting? Yeah, we're from yeah. Canada. From Canada. Okay. Yeah. The reason I'm talking to you, so it was 65 uh, before you got to that little community back there called Palominas, and then it drops to 45, then it drops back, comes back up to 55. Okay, I'm oh. sorry. I, didn't, I must have not noticed this sign. I apologize. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, all right, that's fair. Do you have your driver's license and registration? Yeah. Yeah. So coming down that big long hill, it was about 84 and a 55, and then up here it's, you were going about 70 and a 55. Okay, sorry, I probably I just wasn't paying attention. Okay. I guess. All right, that's fair. Are you guys videographers? Yeah, we, we make are, YouTube yeah. videos. Did you guys get anything cool? We went I to mean, the border. Cool we're we're kind of like yeah. documenting the border and stuff like that. It's the first time here, so it was really yeah. interesting to see. All right. I'm well, trying to get my driver's license. I can appreciate that. Do you guys have a YouTube channel or something? We do. Yeah, yeah we do. We all have uh, a different YouTube channel. A different YouTube yeah. channel? Yeah. Okay. We're all individual YouTubers, so we have our own like content and stuff. Oh, gotcha. All yeah. right. Well, hopefully it goes well. Okay, so I guess this is what you need? Yeah, if it's a rental, it might not well, look no like that's the right yeah, thing. But did, did you that, find it? I don't think that guy gave me my ID earlier. He did. I saw him literally give it to you. Really? Yeah. You weren't talking to a different cop. Were we you? were. We were filming a video, and this cop came up to us, and he was asking us what we we're doing, and then he ID'd us, and he took our IDs. Oh, okay. But was then, that in Douglas or Bisbee? Uh, I have no idea, I to be honest somewhere. with you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's this, too. That looks I like appreciate registration. It. Yeah, that's a little better. I must I have put it. Okay. It's a rental, so... Well, let me give you this back. What we can do is you have a license in Canada. Yeah, I do. All right. I'll just have you write down your, your name just in case. Hopefully you gave it back because I don't know about Canada. You should have it. Licenses are expensive here in, yeah. in Arizona. Yeah, bro. It's probably in my pocket, so I'm going to get, get it from my pocket. Is that, that okay? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Oh, here it is. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. There you go. All right, I'll be right back with you guys, okay? All right, man. I guess I was going a little too fast. Whoops. <laughs> Man, what's, this is like, what's up with us today in like cops? I don't know. Sarji, these videos are fake. These videos are fake. People yeah. always be bitching and complaining about videos. I'm like, we literally, like, it's so late now. And like, we're, we're, we're going through so much just to give you guys content. And we get pulled over all the time. And Also, that was the nicest cop I've ever met in my life. Yeah, but nice cops usually mean big tickets. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, here's a thousand dollar fine. <laughs> Okay, it's still an hour and six It's probably gonna be a thousand dollar fine. It always is. Yeah, I appreciate you guys' cooperation. Here you go. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. You gonna be um, easy on me or what? Well, yeah. So I'm gonna explain that. Okay. So, um, they probably didn't tell you when you guys came to Arizona. Anything 20 miles an hour or more over the speed limit is technically a criminal offense. Oh no way! Oh, I'm not gonna make you guys come back to court here. I appreciate okay? that. Thank so you. So what I did write, I wrote a ticket. It's called waste of finite resources. Basically, anything over, anything less than 10 over in a 55 mile an hour plus zone. We can say, hey, you're just wasting gas. It doesn't count as a speeding ticket on a record. I don't know if Canada 
cares about usually, his own usually the US tickets like I've had tickets in New York before okay they don't really count on the record no okay so this doesn't count as a speeding ticket it just says hey you were going too fast and they wrote it in this or they wrote the law in the state so we can give people breaks and say hey just slow down okay especially because uh if i gave you a misdemeanor ticket that's a mandatory appearance hmm. uh, if you guys don't want to come back here i don't blame you <laughs> no. so no we're um, heading we're heading we've been out here for two weeks we miss our families we're heading home in like two days so gotcha. yeah um so if you did the, there's a court date on january 9th down here in sierra vista or the court's phone number is on here if you want to call them before then and see if you have any options or just take yeah. care of the ticket um, do you have any questions for me? No, so I don't have to go to court or any of that no, stuff you now. No, you have to. You need to contact them if you want to take care of it over the phone. Okay. But it's not a mandatory appearance where you don't have to come down to Sierra Vista. Okay, cool. Okay, so there you go. Right, do you man. have any questions for me? No, no one's ever. Okay, I appreciate it. Uh, I was going to ask, is there any videos I can watch later tonight? Yeah, go on my channel, Mo Sargi. Mo, 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 Sar Mo okay. Sargi. Got All right. Okay, I appreciate you guys travel safe. Okay, appreciate cool. you, man. You. Take care. Bye. So what is the video? Uh, let's see. Oh, my battery's about to die. Actually, border patrol, guys. We're literally being followed by border patrol. Like, I'm not even joking. Actually? Yeah, he just turned his lights on. It was a white and green. Uh... Get your cameras ready because we're being followed by border patrol. Turn right onto the I 10 West back? ramp. Yep, probably. So, we've been uh, getting followed by two different cops. We got pulled over once. Border Patrol just followed us into this road, and then I was being boxed in by another truck. We didn't film it, but it was really scary. Um, one truck turned around and left. This one other guy just chases down the road, flashes lights at us. I was, he stopped now. I don't think he's coming now, but everywhere we've been going, we've been secretly being followed by like these Border Patrol trucks.